What's up guys, it's Dono. In this video, I got a question asking about how to make lyrics like Nas or Kendrick Lamar. I'm gonna take that question and flip it a little bit and basically turn it into how to write lyrics like one of the greats. Now, before we get into the meat of this, I wanna make it obvious that, of course, you have to put in all kinds of work to get to these top levels. But if you're doing that and you have some level of natural talent, there's a few things that the greats all tend to do that makes them stand out above the rest. The first thing is poetic skill. All of these individuals are able to rap with really, really good technical fundamentals. It's not uncommon for them to chain together tons of multi-syllable rhymes with wordplay, with a metaphor, with some other things going on. They are masters of these different poetic devices. Articulating an arrangement of alliteration ain't all that arduous for them. You see what I'm saying? Like, they flip similes faster than kids can flip burgers down at the local fast food joint. It's this kind of really strong poetic skill that's gonna make you wanna listen in from the beginning. So here's a few different pieces of poetic skill that you should focus on. Multi-syllable rhymes, wordplay, similes, metaphors, assonance, consonance, imagery, all these kinds of things that you used to learn about in English class or are still learning about in English class. You need to become a master of these so that you can make your lyric really pop. Not only do you have to be able to master each of these individual types of poetic devices, but you need to be able to blend them together seamlessly. Way easier said than done, that's a lot of work. The second thing that all of the greats have in common is their own unique style, right? Now they may have a lot of different influences from the greats that came before them, but at the end of the day, the music they're making sounds a little bit different and has a very unique piece of them inside of it, right? It sounds very different from what others are making. If you notice, when one artist gets big, a lot of smaller artists scramble to copy them and try to gain some popularity off of the same thing that other people were doing. But if you look at all the greats, they're not really riding on anyone else's coattails. They are making their own unique brand of music. Now, of course, if you wanna layer on some different aspects from other artists, go ahead and do so, but do it in a way that's unique to you and sounds a little bit distinct because if you sound like everyone else, there's no way that you're gonna stand out and there's no way that you're going to be considered better than other people because you sound the same as them. The last and most important piece is to have a unique message. Each of these artists have something that they're trying to talk about and get across. Each of them has a unique backstory and a unique set of experiences that they're looking to share. By tapping into what's most real to them and most meaningful, it allows them to open up these avenues where many people are interested. As opposed to that, a lot of people are trying to make you know very generic filler punchline type content and that's never going to resonate deeply with a large audience because there's not enough substance. So if you were looking to become one of the greats, you need to really dig deep and look for content and material that's both somewhat unique, but also really speaks deeply to you for things that are meaningful because a lot more energy and emotion is going to come out and that's gonna make the music sound a lot better. So all in all, those are just three things to think about if you want to start making your lyrics a little bit more impactful. You really want to get a message, wrap it in a unique sound, and use heavy poetic techniques to bring it alive. Now obviously there is a ton of work that goes into those three small things, but that's what you need to do to kind of develop yourself as an artist that leaves a meaningful imprint into the music that you're making into your audiences. That's all I've got for this video. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, topics you want me to cover, throw them down in the box below. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Beyond that, I've got a full 30 day how to rap course. I'll have a link with the discount code down below. And I've got a website, rapbetter.com, where you can check out some more resources. That's it, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on the videos. And if you have any questions, comments, or topics you want me to cover, leave them down in the box below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. See you next time.